Hello, I'm Kelsey Krishner. A homicide investigation in Hamilton has business owners and neighbors on high alert. Early this morning, Baltimore police say four people were shot, one person died. This was just one piece of what's shaping up to be another violent weekend throughout the city. And WJZ is live at Harford Road and Hamilton Avenue. Christina Mendez is speaking with a business owner there. And Christina, how are they feeling about the shooting? Kelsey, a bullet flew through this building here, and you can see it left a hole about the size of a quarter and spider cracks around the window here. Luckily, at this time, about two in the morning, no one was inside this nail shop, but the owner does tell me that this peaceful corner of the city has now been caught in the crosshairs of crime. I, I would never think it ha will happen around here in this area. It's a good neighborhood. In a strip of businesses, bars, and restaurants in Hamilton, you will find Samantha's nails and lashes on Harford Road. The owner set up shop back in 2014, never expecting a quadruple shooting to leave a mark in memories made here. Uh, the, bullet, the bullets inside the shop, and they, the investigation, they're trying to take it out, but it couldn't go all the way inside the wall. The thing is all broken and stuff inside, shattered glass and stations and stuff like that. Baltimore police say at 1.43 Sunday morning, officers in the area heard a gun going off. A man was found dead at the scene while a woman was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the head. Two others also went for treatment. This four, four people getting shot. My God. Ken Kranicki has made this part of the city home for the last 10 years. In that time frame, violence in Hamilton hasn't been top of mind. There might be a scuffle, there might be a fist thrown. Usually it's angry words. While detectives continue to canvas the scene of the shooting, Baltimore police are also focusing on other cases of gun violence this weekend. The department confirms at least nine people were shot Saturday into Sunday, leaving two people dead in separate shootings. And that's scary. Any one of us could be the next one. Homicide detectives are asking anyone for information about this shooting to come forward to help solve this crime. I'm reporting live from Hamilton tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.